Universidad de Los Andes. Focus on the development of robotics for the technical and professional training of our students. This year, our 74 member team, through an iterative process, has improved our robot project based on the results of the past URC competition. This edition of URC will restructure the team's organization, seven technical subsystems, no including drone, and two administrative subsystems. This time, electronic designers from all subsystems work together on the unified power system. Science or glass participation, we have set new objectives which led to the development of a new microcycle based on systems engineering philosophy and agent methodologies. This year, we fully integrated a functional pulley system which is capable of transferring movement between both sides of the rubber with much less weight. Additionally, we developed our new 3D printed wheels which are able to absorb much more energy from impacts. They also have an external covering that can be replaced in case of any major damage. The rubber chassis is made up from 2020 modular aluminum profiles, which guarantee great adaptability at all times. The rover has an electronic system based on a Raspberry Pi 4 and the Tensi microcontroller. Both of them run the main algorithms related to communication and the discrete control of each motor. We have designed and assembled PCBs that distribute power from the lithium polymer batteries to all subsystems and the signals between them. We kept the same communications architecture while improving cable management, reliability and measuring the information. Inside the rover we have a 13 dBA gain omnidirectional antenna connected to a ubiquity rocket which modulates and demodulates the information. On the base we have the same architecture but with a sexual antenna. We built our software on Rust2 with the help of Docker, aiding the deployment of software to the robot. We used A star and an algorithmic approach to autonomous navigation, giving a set of coordinates and an initial pulse. The rover uses a 60 gig of freedom arm with dexterity to hold onto objects or interact with them. Its movements are controlled in a Raspberry Pi 4 running a ROS environment in which precise movements are guaranteed by using real-time feedback with magnetic encoders and multiple cameras useful for the pilot to monitor the arm and gripper. After evaluating mistakes from our last experience, we made important improvements. For instance, how the arm inside the rover to improve stability, we designed the arm's base to reduce its current volume and mass, and redesigned the gripper for it to grasp onto more complex geometries with greater strength and give guidance to the pilot with a distance sensor and laser pointer. Furthermore, for the core electronic system, we implemented sensors to keep track of the driver's temperature and power consumption. Similarly, digital current control was included to optimize energy consumption and apply a new torque current relation useful when switching between lifting a heavy object and low power dexterity. Finally, microcontrollers were implemented to parallelize driver tasks. In addition, we oversee the development of teleoperation, image pre-processing and uh, filters for the rover, the arm and the drone. We are in charge of four cameras, this being an OFD, an Intel Core RealSense and uh, two web cameras. Our main objective is to provide the pilot with audiometry estimations of depth, the detection of air attacks, object recognition, and filter imaging. We also, since last time in the URC, have developed a new web server based on the idea of edge computing. What this means is that we attempt to use the computational power of our new cameras uh, regarding the OpenCV's OD capability of pre-processing the information so we can process the images before sending it to the web server. This sensory and extraction subsystem is focused on the way in which extant, extinct or no life can be detected in our rover. And for that we have Eva and Ramses. The science team observed the reaction generated by three samples collected by Ramses in contact with five chemicals located on Eva. This allowed the analysis of the presence of extant, extinct or no life in the sample through its effervescence or staining. Also, Ramses has a microscope that could lead to finding tiny organisms or traces imperceptible to the human eye, and these observations can determine life too. Compared to last year, this year we only have three compartments to analyze five characteristics of each sample, instead of four compartments to analyze six characteristics. We have improved the system with new motors, with more rigid and resistant impressions, with a new electronic PCB, and with a change in the operating system from ROS to ROS2. Now, I'm glad to present the Condor Pro, the new prototype made by Rode. It's functionally focused on the aerial support for the team and the road. For the autonomous navigation task, the drone is connected by Mablin protocol, which allows the flight computers to give orders to the drone based on the recognition of air attacks with OpenCV Aroco algorithms. 